Yes. Um, so we started backwards because I always start off because I've got an international audience. And so people would want to, when they tune in, they're like, oh, where's everyone from? So, I, you know, where, where were you sort of born and raised? So it gives people an idea. I was born and raised in Waterloo, Iowa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which most people, even to this day, still go how did you get in Iowa? Like, how did that even happen? And like, it's some foreign uh, <laughs> place and it's not, it's, it's the Midwest where, I mean, I'm four hours away from Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like, you're just in the middle of everything. It's extremely beautiful here. It's quiet, very peaceful, which is great for my brain. <laughs> <laughs> great for my sanity so no I love it and my parents my dad's background he's um French Canadian and black and so French his Canadian wow French Canadian and black and his family came uh from Canada wow so like my grandmother um came from there my mom she's Creole and was born and raised in Louisiana and grew up in a household where they only spoke um french and all her siblings obviously went to school to learn english but yeah her parents my grandparents never spoke any english and um my dad ended up being you know being raised in another small town in iowa called marshalltown which is about i don't know like an hour and a half away from waterloo and um I mean, it's like a movie the way him and my mom met because my mom lost her uh, lost her mom when she was 15. She had a heart attack. Wow. And she was uh, the second youngest out of, I got to think, I think it was nine siblings, nine wow. or 10 siblings. Wow. Wow. And so they all kind of, you know, stepped in and were raising each other. And um as they got older, everyone started to kind of leave and try to find another, you know, their own path. And my mom had this dream of going into the Air Force. Wow. And one of her siblings was out here in Iowa. And she was traveling to come visit him. So to make a long story short, my dad was a musician and he had a band called the Cavaliers and they traveled all through the Midwest. Um, he was the lead singer and they would do uh, like James Brown, Jackie Wilson, songs like that. And from those artists and he even opened shows for like Jackie Wilson and little Richard what? when he wow. was younger. Yeah. My dad was, he started sneaking into clubs when he was 14 <laughs> and singing yeah, that was just his thing. He just knew he wanted to be a musician. And so my mom ends up in this uh, restaurant bar type vibe in the Midwest and uh, with her brother and his, um, I think it was his wife at the time, her fiance. My dad was performing there and he walks up to my mom after he gets done singing and he just said, um, you know, introduced himself and he said, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> and my mom was like, you're crazy. <laughs> and he was like, maybe, but I'm going to marry you. So he literally low key stalked her for <laughs> several days. Like you couldn't do that today. <laughs> like, <laughs> you would literally like, yeah, be considered crazy doing stuff like that now. But he um, pursued her for like a week while she was in town. And um, I mean, she ended up going on a date with him. Um, she never went to the Air Force, never went back to Louisiana. And like six months later, they were married and wow. they were married for almost 50 years. Wow. The wildest story in the world. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I love it. Did they make, both speak French? Um, my dad, no. Mom, oh. 
held on to the language and um, would speak it occasionally in the house. And my sister and I, were we were the only ones that tried to study it and pick up on it. And then now I'm horrible at it. And it's sad. <laughs> no, because you say your dad was French Canadian. So I assume they both were like, uh, bonjour. <laughs> no, he was not speaking. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, thought, <laughs> I thought he used his French to woo your mom like oh look man I know no. French <laughs> yeah I don't think my dad knew any French <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, is that why because I used to, I thought people used to say you're from Canada and maybe that's why they connect you know because your dad was Canadian they because I just assumed you were Canadian <clears throat> Oh yeah, no, that I've been so many things and, <laughs> or people have put me in places that I've never been, but yeah, no, my background is, it's, it's pretty, pretty diverse. Cause even on my mom's side, there's some Spanish and, mm -hmm. um, uh, her, uh, I want to say her dad's mom was native American. Wow. So yeah, it's 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 pretty cool just to see how um how diverse my my background is and it's like over time we uh started asking more questions because that was the one thing as a kid growing up in Iowa there weren't many people that looked like my family in the beginning like when I was a kid now yeah <laughs> see a lot of people that look like me here but but in the beginning it really wasn't like that so I we all kind of started questioning like more about our background and yeah came from as a kid you don't really think about it as much but as we started to get older I started questioning and you start realizing goodness like it's pretty interesting um just how diverse your background really is like all these different parts of you yeah i mean especially now a lot of a lot of people are doing the ancestry and just checking what their heritage and the makeups are did, did you ever yeah. do any of that dna test no. to since my mom has passed we've talked about doing that so that's probably something i will be doing this year too just because i i am super curious to find out <laughs> yeah i mean it's a good thing i mean yeah my parents are nigerians and and they were mm. born and raised in Nigeria. So I know, you know, I've gone to the village and I know my great grandfather. I know even know where the tribe immigrated from, you know, so it, wow. it's nothing much there. Um, but I guess it's it's good. A, a lot of American, black African Americans have been also doing that to say, okay, where will we trace from and which, you know, our, our lineage and heritage? Because um, I think. As a therapist who works with kids, identity is really a massive thing. If you if you have a, a sense of identity, it's a real massive um, anchor to support you through a, a world that everyone is trying to get you to fit in somewhere. So I can understand why yeah. people would like to have a sense of identity. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think it's super important to know where um, where you come from. It's just, you know, it's a part of who you are. I like to know all those parts. Yeah. How was it like growing up with a yeah. dad who could, who was a, a singer? I mean, I don't know. Was he was singing at home and then talking about, his, I've just been opened up for Little Richard and stuff or? or... Um, yes. My dad, my dad's personality was massive. <laughs> um, complete opposite. I would say of me because I'm definitely, I mean, people laugh when I say this, but I think I'm, I am more of an introvert than I am an extrovert. It's like when I need to be on or need to be out and about. And I think when I'm performing, that's when you see the other side, that other persona. But for the most part, I'm a homebody. I <laughs> like to open up a book and read it, watch movies um be just be in my house it is so hard to get me out the house <laughs> once I'm out it's great but no I like to be in the house um but yeah my dad I mean at any given moment he would start singing wow. and I mean his voice was like 
magical that we would just be like, oh, dad, sing that song again. Wow. <laughs> you know, we loved hearing him sing. And um, then, of course, we would all try to sing along with him and he would teach us songs and got us a piano. And um, my brother, uh, Dino, who um, co-wrote a bunch of songs with me, he pretty much self-taught himself how to um, play the piano. Um, and he would spend hours on that every day after school. But yeah, I know my dad at any given moment, he had no um, qualms about singing. Like, yeah, he would sing all day if he wanted to. He loved to sing all the time. I never participated in that kind of- I the somewhere in between. Well, even loving us, on which I did miss you. Yeah, you know, with, uh, you know, what was it like growing up? It is a she's still making an impact on four houses down. Hey, I'm not, I have a crew. I didn't get this one and that one. But that works for me, but this for me, I can tell. I can tell. No, 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 okay, you okay. Yep. The only thing with those is boys and women all spirits. Play it. I mean, I was, I, I love, I love all different jobs.